how to track gains of CDs inside of an IRA. Welcome to Barry's Bytes. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor Chris Barry. Think of an IRA like a box. You can have a lot of different investments inside of this box. So you can have stocks, you can have bonds, you can have cash, you can have CDs. And depending on the type of IRA, you can even have things like real estate and other alternative investments. Fixed index annuities. A lot of times we see these inside of IRAs. Think of this as a box. And the important thing to understand is the basis really doesn't matter because whenever anything here comes out, it's taxed at your income tax rate. So when we're talking about IRAs, we're never really worried about like capital gains or what the basis was. So if you bought a stock for $100 and now it's $1,000, you don't have to worry about the gains or anything like that or tracking the basis because the only time it's taxed is when you pull the money out. And it doesn't matter whether it's a stock or bond, a cash CD or fixed index annuity. It's always just going to be taxed. Whatever amount you take out, whether you take out 50,000 from a CD, 50,000 from a fixed index annuity, 50,000 from mutual funds, when you take that money out, it doesn't matter what the investment tool was because it's coming outside of the IRA, whatever that value is, it doesn't matter what the tool was. It's the amount coming out. That's going to be what's taxed. But at the custodian level, they'll be able to track how much growth you've had on the different investments and accounts. But from a tax perspective, other than just trying to track how you're doing, it really doesn't matter. You don't need to track capital gains. So that's why like moving from stocks to a fixed index annuity or a CD, you can do that all with an IRA and there's no tax consequences because the only tax consequence is when the money comes out of that IRA. Now, if it was like a brokerage account or a taxable account, then that would be different. Like let's say you bought Facebook for $100 and now it's at $10,000 and you sold it in a taxable account, you'd have to worry about capital gains. You'd have to know, okay, I bought it for 100, I'm selling it for 10, that's 9,900 dollars worth of capital gains that's going to show up as capital gains for your tax return. If you do it inside of the IRA, there's no tax consequence. It doesn't matter. The only time you're actually taxed is when you pull the money out of the IRA. 